Sweet Spots with Chris Rainwaters. I'm Chris and today I'm sitting down with Ed. He is the owner and proprietor of Drum Flip in Vista. Hi Ed. Hey, how you doing Chris? Thank I'm great. <laughs> thank you so much for coming out here today. Oh, thank you. This is on this this is a rad shop. Like I am so stoked that I found you and that we are doing this together. Yeah. So, for those of you that have no idea what you do, mm -hmm. um, could you maybe just describe your business and what you're about? Yeah, so I started Drum Flip out of my garage in 2010. Um, I was actually a realtor, then I was working like as a school teacher and our school closed. So I decided to do something to follow my passion. I started Drum Flip. So what it is, it's a drum store here in Vista, California. We have a vibrant online community and we work with drummers of all budgets. And then we also do custom stuff, artist tour kits, stuff you can't find at every big box store. So that's kind of what our focus is. Nice. And then there's a ton of art. Do you want to talk about a little bit like the different art and artists? Yeah, my wife and I are big art collectors. I love art from all around the world. So we have it scattered throughout the store. Most people don't even see it, but I, I love I love being surrounded by art. And well, yeah. yeah, the drums are very shiny and sparkly. They're so beautiful. So they're, yeah, they're yeah. very distracting. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, so um, besides the school closing and all that, I mean, kind of what made you like really decide to, that this was what you were going to do? Yeah, I think when I was uh, when I was 17, I went to a concert, a Metallica concert. Nice. I, I was staring at the drummer, Lars Ulrich, and I was always into sports my whole life. And then when I went to that concert, I was just blown away by the passion involved in music. Yeah. And I said to myself, I need to do that. And my funnest memories, like when I was a teenager, was going to the drum store and hanging out and like buying and selling drums. Yeah. And eventually in my life, I was like, you know what? I've done all these other things. I want to really follow this passion. So that's, I have a big passion for drums and gear and meeting people from around the world and, and collecting items. So this, it's perfect. That's, yeah. That, I, yeah. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> yeah. It's so perfect. I love, I love what I do and I love the clients and the customers. That's so have. important too, to be able to like have a passion and just. Yeah every day be like yes i get to go to work I know. <laughs> like when i wake up and i'm off i'm like uh, i mean it's still great but it's like i want to be at work i love i love what i do so like, it's really, i gotta go to work yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> um so what would you say that clients like what's their favorite part about your business i think the clients love our personal touches like when you order something from us online you usually get definitely like a thank you card you get some drumsticks or a t-shirt you get some candy so it's more than just opening a package and grabbing the item. It's, yeah. it's about us and what we're about. So I think personal touches like that are customer service, mm -hmm. our knowledge. We have a lot of knowledge about products. Everything in here has a story and I can tell you where it's from and what it's about. And I think that's super important. And then just buying things that you can't find everywhere. I think so all those things combined to like make our customers happy, I hope. So. Yeah. And would do like if someone's got something they really want, like could you find it for them? Is that a thing you do? Yeah, definitely. I, I have a lot of resources I can touch into. We work with studios. I work directly with companies like Pork Pie here. Okay. I work directly with the owners of companies to kind of get special items. Yeah. So it's really cool. Like you can't find this in any store except for right here. It's really cool. Yeah, that's like an alcohol it. ink. It's really neat. It's so cool. Huh. So, yeah. Um, so, I mean, you've been doing this for a little while. What's probably the most memorable um, or touching experience that you've had so far? Um, I would say two things, if that's okay. When yeah. I, I was in the military and um, we got back from Kuwait in 03, the start of the war. I got back and there was World War II veterans to greet us when I got back. And it was like, oh. I know I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. Oh. So that was amazing. These, these gentlemen who served, gentlemen and women served in the war and they were 89 years old. They took the time to come meet us at Riverside at March Air Force Base. So that's like... That's incredible. It was really neat. And the fire department was there and they were shooting water over the plane. So... That was that was pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, in the store, we had Frank Zimmer here from Sun Forty One. Very cool. And uh, Mike from SJC. Mike's an amazing guy. So SJC came. That's that company right there. Okay. We did some um, television interviews at like six thirty in the morning. We were playing drums. Then we came back to our shop and ripped it up. And we had like a youth drum contest. And an eleven year old girl won a, a free snare from SJC. Oh, so nice. It was a full day of amazement. So that was that was probably my two favorite moments. I wish I was there. That sounds really cool. It was. It was so neat. If I'll you do you, it again, you gotta you, yeah, you gotta tell us all. We can put it on the event. I'll show you the video. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> um, so, uh, are you from Vista? Are you from here? Or yeah, I'm from Chicago. Then oh, okay. I joined the military. I came out to Camp Pendleton, and I met my wife Susan. Which hi, Susan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've been married almost 20 years now, so it's cool. Um, we live in Oceanside, but I. I love Vista. I think it's an amazing town for business and art and culture and breweries and 
manufacturing. There's just so many cool things. Yeah. Is that why you picked this neighborhood and Vista then? I love Vista. Yeah, I, I searched all North County on the 78 corridor and mm -hmm. I, I just thought to myself, this is a cool spot. And Vista was the most open to our business. Nice. Because we're kind of specific. It's a niche. It's yeah. a niche and every other town was kind of against it, but Vista was so open. So thank you, Vista. <laughs> yeah. And what, um, what motivates you? What drives you to keep doing what you do besides the fact that you obviously love what you do, but I, is I there do. anything else you want to share? <laughs> yeah. I, I think the passion I have is I was driving home from Phoenix once. It was a long drive and I thought, what's my why? I don't know if you ever got that question. Oh yeah. Yeah. But my why is finding cool gear and making sure someone is happy with it. And, I think that's really important. You know, I love what I do. I love seeing our gear posted online and seeing people all around the world having joy from what they bought from us. So I think that drives me the most. You know, awesome. Yeah, just yeah. sharing that passion. That is cool. Yeah, yeah. and the love, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. for sure. Uh, finding people with other, you know, the same thing in common as you is just, it's important. It makes you feel connected to, yeah, to everyone. for sure. Um, so if somebody is interested in... Um, either shopping or having you find something for them or mm -hmm. viewing your art, what's the best way to get a hold of you and your business? Yeah, <laughs> so you just go to drumflip.com. All of our information's on there. You can call me. My phone's on all the time. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, Instagram's a huge thing for us. So, yeah, come on the shop. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, online 24-7 or Instagram. So whatever works for anybody. I'd love to help them out. Awesome. Yeah. Um, is there anything you want to add before we wrap it up? Um, I just want to say thanks for doing this. Oh, and, sure. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for uh, helping out small businesses invest. It's so cool. And I hope that, um, you know, if someone sees this, might come to the shop or might help. You know, yeah, you come check it out. Do. Even if you're not a drummer, like, it's beautiful. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Um, well, thank you so much for doing this, Ed. And I'm Chris Rainwaters. Uh, this has been another episode of Sweet Spots with Chris. I'm a realtor with Corcoran Global Living and the Shoshana Ho Group. ChrisRainwaters.com, and yeah, stay tuned for more. Thank you. Bye.